the amount of tape we've used so far uh, in the show. Uh, so now it becomes very complicated when to when Cantor is taped up and then when he's released. But you know, sometimes like the combination of the performance anxiety and the uh, and the fact that I'm really um, firmly taped because Jim tapes me it happens. Uh, to the chair um, does get me a little bit uh, uneasy. So I have to manage that. I have to manage that um, stress. I wanted to make it look more like wrapping so I agree with you. I know. I, so I agree. Like confining. But when could he, when did you need to get out of there? Um, I needed to, I guess, I mean, um, I couldn't do the next uh, move. I couldn't do the, the hands. I couldn't do this, you know, up here. So I just stayed like that, which yeah, might have been fine. fine. Um, but it was some time. But then uh, when he came back here. Because it was some time that she said that you were struggling. And yeah, right after that. When he came to the table, you were. Oh, because he didn't put you there? I couldn't snap myself into the chair, so I had to lift the chair. Right. And then when I came here, I, you know, I had to. I knew I had to probably do some other movements. So that's when I got rid of that tape. Well, does it need to be? That's what I'm trying to think. If you, uh, if the, if the way we tape him is uh, that you guys cut, when you who cuts him out? That you just cut both? Yeah. Well, uh, I cut here and here. Yeah. It's hard to cut but on the body. But then you have to cut on the body. Right. Yeah. It's just going to take longer. I'll tell you. There's a way to do it. You get your finger uh, in, be in between the tape and his uh, coat, and then you cut along your finger. You make space with your finger. But you have to go in there first. But we have to practice that. Yeah. So we'll practice that and see if we can do that.